Hello everyone. This tutorial based on how to customize uh, a template for foundation block wall. So let me show show you what I mean by foundation block wall. This when you are setting up that is when you are setting down the block wall on foundation footing. And this is the progress when you are setting it out. This is another one. This one is stretcher bond. So this is foundation block wall, as you can see. This is foundation block wall. <coughs> and you see this is foundation block wall. Yeah. So let's get started. Let's go to our templates that I've been working on before. This is the template that you have done. You have done enforcement. All what I've, I'm still working on is foundation. I'm working on foundation, excluding beam, suspended beam, and columns. So I'm still working on foundation templates. So to start with foundation block work, firstly, I am going to make use of linear tools. Click on in here. So name it as foundation, foundation, oh sorry, foundation block work. Click on advance. There are some uh, properties that you can add for the template. Let me show you something on the picture. Let me show you this one. So you are going to make use of um, block wall height from the surface. I mean, from the top of the footing, from the top to the last point of the block wall. I mean, from the top of the footing to the surface. This is the last block. This is the last course. So the last course will be at the surface of the DPC. So. The height to determine the height will be at the top of the uh, footing, foundation footing, to the surface, to the last course, or to the surface of the DPC. Let me show you something here. Let me show you something. Uh, I'm coming. Just press OK. Come down to this place. I want to show you guys something. Uh, OK. I mean, that this is the foundation footing, and this is the DPC or basalt concrete. So this is the block wall. This is the bl block work for foundation. So the, bl the block work will start from the top of the foundation footing and we terminate at the surface of the uh found I mean surface of the oversight concrete. That's what I'm trying to explain. Just come back to templates. Just activate it or customize it. Double click on it, click on advance. So you are going to make use of height. Wall height. When you are going to customize it, the wall height. Wall height. Just come down to take curve data. Uh, you have the wall height already. Just activate it. You have the wall height already. So then the width there is point two two five and just a meter okay so to customize it now or take off so that is the one that will be transferred to the interface or worksheet area Yeah. Multiply it with the wall height. With the wall height. So unit is square meter. Unit is square meter. Let's come down to here. Let us remove and check all this field, excluding uh, the color. Let's come back to form layout. 
that's uh, the unit two. That's the unit two. Okay, just come down to the width. Okay, just let me move this one. Double click on this. Just fill this place with size of a uh, block wall. What to work on? I make it a 150mm block or 2 to 5. You can change it here. Just click on this drop down. You want to change it to 150 or 2 to 5. Just check it again. Is it meter? Come down to our form. Layout. We. So let it be at the same row. Okay. So we are done. Just come down to form. Yeah. Foundation block wall. Click on OK. Just move it down. Just move it up. It'll be on that checklist here. Understand? So click on this and this and this. Yep. Come back to home. Come back to architectural drawing. Uh, we have foundation block wall. Click on this green button. What is the width? Just click on this drop down. Let us check. Let's check. What is the width? The width is two to five. Okay, good. Click on this again. Drop. Click on this drop down. What is the height? So we are using. According to how I explained to you guys, from the block wall we start, we commence from the top of the foundation footing and we terminate under uh, oversized concrete based on your drawing, or any drawing that you are giving what to take off. So I'm using 0 0.9 meter. Click on OK. Check your record mode point to point. Yeah. Let me press click on escape. I want to explain something. Are they being this is okay? Let me restart. Let me start this one again. Are they being I choose I choose 150 the graph? So I want to see the difference of 150 and 25 mm. Can you see now? escape move it if you want to move any item click on shift alt then move it can you see it now there's different between 15 mm and 2 to 5 so you need to delete it yeah delete it don't need it so now let me proceed with this one if i want to produce it what you are taking off when you want to click on it press n Press N. Click on N. So the vlog will still proceed to this side. Yeah. Yeah. So terminate a press escape. So these are are going to take off for the old block wall. For the old block wall. That show the legend. I click and click on show legend. So according to the one you've done, block foundation block work. So I got 55 square meter for the external. So now this is how to customize and take off for foundation block work. Foundation block work. Do you know that there's something that uh you have to take into consideration. Do you know? You don't know. I will explain to you guys. So, let me come down to um, 
G, that's the general arrangement. Structural joint. Structural joint. Good. This is foundation layout and section. With what we've done here. With what we've done here. With what we've done here. There are some columns at each point here that we've added it up with um uh, foundation block code, which is wrong. So if you want to take off from um, foundation block code, it's advisable to make use of general arrangement drawing, except you want to increase the numbers or quantities of um your foundation block code. Normal way is to make use of general arrangement. That is the foundation layout. So let me rescale this page. This is 19.26. I just want to use this one as an example. 19.26. 19.26. Yeah. 19. 19.26. Just trade this one. Yeah. So, what is the width? The width is 10.92. The width is 10.92. The width is 10.92. Yeah, 10.92. So now, just come back to our templates back click on this so the width is two to ah no just click on this drop down and click on it then the height you use 0 0.9 meter okay so you won't start from here from the top of the column so just start beside just start from the side of the column and stop it here. Press escape and press N to proceed again. Hope you understand what I'm trying to differentiate from the architectural drain and structural drain. I mean the general arrangement to the structural drain. Press N again for continuation. If you want to make use of this system, then working on you can use the first one so that we increase the quantity of of the foundation block code but it's advisable to make use of this you understand so that is okay with this one it's okay with this it's more professional to make use of this system So at least you understand what I'm trying to differentiate from the general arrangement drawing and uh, architectural drawing when we are taking off for uh, foundation block work. Let me show the legend of what we've done here. This one is 19.1 square meter. And if you have any questions you want to ask, you are free free uh to ask me any question on plan switch and if you want me to, to customize any template let me know but i'm still working on foundation now i'm still working on foundation now so after this foundation block wall you proceed on raft foundation thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel